flying airplanes makes you feel alive and gives you a sense of freedom, of being liberated from your disability, but nothing to hold you back. Joan Bardo was Douglas's second wife. Um, she married in 1975 and uh, Douglas died in 1982. Joan Bardo was in her own right a very successful golfer. She had a handicap of two and that's how she and Douglas met on the golf course. She was also a show jumper and performed for the Great Britain team on a number of occasions. What sort of chap is he? What are his interests in life? Flying and sport. That's about all. I wonder how he's going to take it when he finds out that he's lost both legs. I think about an individual who overcame huge, huge adversity, huge physical adversity uh, to stay flying. Um, and then his inspiration, what he did um, and what that has led to, the foundation, uh, again, you know, that's given so much back to the aviation community. Uh, so his name will live on forever. When Douglas died uh, in 1982, uh, we were all in a state of shock. And within 48 hours of that happening, we came up with the concept of continuing Douglas's inspiration. From that moment on, uh, Joan was the president of the charity. Joan Lady Barda died in 2015, and we wanted to acknowledge her wonderful contribution for the last 34 years, uh, helping with the charity. The idea of the grant scheme originally started 25 years ago, and the purpose of it was to allow those with disabilities um, to get some assistance to enable them to achieve a specific goal. The overall concept of the BADA grant scheme is that we want to assist those people who are with disabilities to achieve goals. Lady BADA grants were created as part of our overall BADA grant scheme, but specifically in, in her name, to acknowledge females with disabilities who wish to achieve significant goals. We're delighted to have found Kim and to enable her to at least experience flying. And we hope to uh, support her to her aim of becoming uh, a pilot. On the motorway, we turn right. We gave a, a kit to, uh, to Kim, um, which is fantastic. So the, the starter pack is everything that a student pilot needs to learn to fly. So it contains uh, the, uh, the training manuals, uh, ruler, protractor, um, the chart, the logbook, the pens, knee board, log pad, absolutely everything she needs to get herself going. It's great to see her getting into the air and not just getting up there, but thoroughly enjoying her flying. And that's just one example of a person that we've helped to support. And if we can do it for her, then we can do it for so many other people. Kim Yeager is um, someone who would like to get her PPL and aerobatics license and would also like to complete her degree. I wanted to learn to fly because I wanted to find an activity that got me out and back to being normal or normal as possible. A PPL is a private pilot's license um, which allows you to fly a plane, a small plane, um, mainly with your friends and family. And today's lesson is uh, circuits but this time on a reciprocal heading runway 26 left. This is the hand control. So you could see the moment the engine starts, so pressure has gone up yes. and start the warning light is out. That's the most important thing. And then you continue with the checklist. As to information, this is Golf Charlie Charlie Zulu Victor. Request radio check and taxi for departure, please. Golf Charlie Charlie Zulu Victor, your fives, taxi via Alpha and Bravo. Two six left hand, the QFE 1013. That's runway two six left, taxi via Taxiway, um, Alpha and Bravo, and the QFE is 1013, Gulf Zulu Alpha and Bravo, so Alpha is just that straight line between the big hangar and the runway, and then Bravo. Okay. Okay, door is shut, mixture reach primal locked, okay. Gulf Zulu Victor, take off your discretion, wind calm. You ready? I'm ready. I'm going to apply full power. Yep. So temperatures and pressures within the limits. Speed is alive. 
50 knots, start gently raising the nose. Okay. Sorry. And once you get the airborne, lower the nose. Lower the nose a bit more. Let's get the speed to 75 knots. Lower the nose a bit more. That's it. And make sure that you trim for it if it's not trimmed. Okay. Can you see the cemetery to the right? Yes. Okay, we're turning right. Hand control with the ailerons and hand control coordinately to make the turn. 300 feet above the ground, we're gonna retract the flaps. Yeah. And then we'll gently raise the nose and retrim. Can you see the reddish uh, buildings there just to the left, roughly 10 o'clock? Yep. Now we're going towards them. We're checking the speed, we want 75 knots, it's slightly lower. The aircraft is trimmed for 75. Now can you see the half circular white building? Yep. From the red building we'll go there to the half circular white building. Approaching 1000 feet, very gently lower the nose, turn we're still in a turn, and reduce the power to 2200 yep. roughly, and retrim. Can you see the white building just below us? Yep. So over here we're gently turning to the left, aileron to the left, and hand control goes down. And we're following this build up area just on the edge of it. Mm -hmm. We don't want to go further south because that's uh, heater controlled airspace to the right. So we're going to turn left. And can you see this, uh, like... Uh, oh, this is the farm field and the pond. The farm field, so like a little yeah. uh, green area we're flying over. There is the little village to the left and the big town to the right. And this will be our base leg. So here we're going to start our descent. Yeah. Car brought the heat on. Power. Power 15. Two flaps. Yes. And we're trim for 75 knots. Yeah. So we start turning left towards the runway. The aircraft seems to be trimmed perfectly fine. Go see the Victor, fine, not around. So, carburetor heat goes off at 300 feet, yeah. speed is 75. We're looking on the runway. Put your hands on the control column so you feel what I'm doing. Still, speed 75. A bit more power as so we sunk here, a little bit too much for our liking, we're passing those hedges, power goes off, speed is still 75, as we approach the ground we gently raise the nose, so we start our flare, we don't let immediately, we gently pull back and then we'll pull back and we'll pull back and we'll pull back and we'll pull back and we'll land on the back wheels and the nose will gently go down on its own. Hey. Okay, so that's how you're gonna do it. That's it. Stop here. I love flying, not just like I love flying um, because it is something different. It's special. It's unusual. Not everyone you meet will be able to fly a small plane. In fact, hardly anyone you meet will be able to fly a small plane. And I'm doing it even though I only have one leg, which makes it even more special. I used to run and skateboard and swim and do many activities but then that all came to a stop when I had my leg amputated and now I'm doing something instead that's amazing, I'm learning to fly. Well Douglas firstly was an incredibly inspirational person and secondly incredibly determined and I think the two go together. If you're determined to do something and your success in that goal, then you are inspirational to others.